I am from Cuba, uh, born and raised, and I came as a political refugee with my family to uh, Western Salem. My dad uh, worked for the uh, security guard for the U.S. and uh, the Cuban government, saying that my dad was working for the U.S. government, so they think he was a threat to the Cuban government, so they're trying to get my dad in jail, so he explained that to the embassy, so we, and we did all the, uh, the papers of refugees and asking for asylum, so the embassy approved us and we fled the country. I was 15 when I came to the U.S. Well, when I was a senior in high school, uh, I was, it was a 9, 9-11, nine and uh, I saw the uh, dedication the firefighter did on 9-11 on and, and the uh, courage they did for uh, you know, saving life and rescue people. And, and then I think my heart changed into that service, uh, and the fire service. So I went to Piney Grove Fire Department outside Kernsville. And that's how I started loving the fire service and taking classes and, and be a member of the volunteer farm. I think to be a good firefighter, you have to love to serve the community and love to serve people. Like serve sometimes, you probably getting up two o'clock in the morning when you in the middle of the sleep and help somebody that need help in that time. I mean, firefighter is different than, than any career because uh, like I say, you love serving people. That's, I guess, it making the difference in everybody. Else. You, you know what, the sacrifice that you're doing to serve and away from your family for 24 hours. One of the calls that I always remember, I was new in the fire service. I was like probably four months in the station. And uh, it was like probably two weeks before Christmas. We got uh, dispatched to a house fire and there was a little girl inside, so a firefighter uh, searched and found a girl and asked for help, so I helped him. And she was, she was burned from, from the waist to the, to the top, so we was doing CPR and she never made it. I think that was, for me, it was the worst call in my uh, fire service years. What keep me coming back to see is like my crew first. We love each other and respect each other and help each other. And also to serve the community of Winston Salem. One of the sad challenges about Hispanic is the, uh, they don't call for emergency when they need it. And uh, sometimes they wait to the last minute when they, when they need us. And so I think my, uh, Communication to the Hispanic community is call when, call, call when you need us. So if you need an emergency call right away, don't wait um, until the last minute or a house fire or breathing difficulty. Uh, just we are here to help.